It's of course super cool to ride the waves, but some of you may also want to get under the waves. So next up we're going to check a company called Bravo Water Sports, who specializes in snorkeling excursions and scuba diving adventures. Hello man, I'm with Wellington and Bravo Water Sports in Sasua. Thanks for being with me. Now, could you please, Wellington, tell the viewers what services you provide here? It's obviously all uh, water related, is it? Or you have others as well? Yeah, besides the scuba diving, uh, excursion and the uh, snorkeling tour that we uh, have here, we also offer other activities such as uh, um, four-wheel excursions, city tours, the sea fishing, and some other more. Okay, but let's focus on uh, snorkeling and scuba diving. Uh, you have courses for beginners and advanced? Yeah, that's correct. We have uh, uh, a range of courses that goes all the way up from uh, scuba diver all the way up to dive master. Yeah. Uh, also, we organize tours for certified divers. That means people that already uh, were trained uh, on the scuba diving as sport. And how many hours are they out for if they go for a dive trip? Uh, for the dive trip, uh, um, our dive locations are very near from the beach, so the boat ride is not that long. We say if you go for one dive, an hour and a half. If you go out for two dives, uh, let's say two hours and a half. And they're just about 50 meters from the beach here, and uh, you just gear up here and you walk down to the boat? Yeah, that's that's right. That's right. We are located right here next to the beach, so just two minutes walk from here. And how many dive spots is there out here? Ooh, we have around uh, 13, 14 different dive spots around here. Any wrecks? Uh, yeah, we also have a nice wreck called uh, Singara. Yeah, mm -hmm. But this is just for uh, advanced divers, which is kind of deep. And just in case there's somebody who's curious about uh, the underwater world but not familiar with it too much, what can they expect to see here in this specific location? Well, uh, we have a lot of uh, 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 tropical fish, very colorful fish. We have from sergeant major fish to uh, big yellow tail snapper fish and some other different type of fish. Too. Any sea turtles? Uh, once in a while we have some around and also once in a while we get to see some dolphins. We never promise we're gonna see dolphins and whales, but they are out there, you know. Cool. All right, well, let's hit the beach. All right, let's do that. All right. First, we're gonna look into the snorkeling adventures. It starts with a little boat ride out to a reef with lots of marine life. Boats at the reef and it's time to check out some marine life. For those who wish to stay nice and buoyant, there are vests available so you can focus on seeing the fish and feeding the fish without struggling staying at the surface. Most of the year you'll find this a nice water temperature and the visibility is very good. So you can feed the fish who are very curious to come up and feed straight off your hands. As Wellington mentioned, they do courses for scuba diving as well, which usually includes some pool practice, and then soon you'll be out testing it in the reef. The first dives are usually not very deep, and you have an instructor with you all the time. So now we're going to have a look at the scuba diving, initially with a couple that has a lot of fun down under. And of course your instructor will make sure you get in the water correctly equipped and safely. In 
despite the underwater environment, this couple turned out to be exceptionally playful. I think this couple adapted to the underwater environment very rapidly. And all depending on your level of certification, the depth of diving will usually be between 10 meters and 45 meters. Also, they're not going to take you to any depth that you're not comfortable with. So if you want to go snorkeling, scuba diving or join one of the other tours, don't be shy on taking contact, just check the details below. Now this final activity is a pretty wild one. It's the Virgin Game here in the Dominican Republic and you'll see me wrapped in rubber bumping into other people. <laughs> 